even if that person says that God told him such or such a thing. I always say that even what you hear here, you have to take everything to the Lord and ask for direct revelation from the Holy Spirit. Unfortunately, what happens is that many people are used to resting on the biblical knowledge or interpretation of what others teach and are putting their salvation at risk. Only the Holy Spirit reveals the truth to us. What is taught or announced here is because we have already received revelation and confirmation from the Holy Spirit. We are seekers of the truth. Now, I cannot convince you what is the truth or to believe what we teach here. You are responsible for your life and your salvation, and only you can receive that truth confirmed through God. So do not waste your energy asking the man what the truth is, seek God, stop stay passive with your arms, crossed and conforming to what others teach you. There are so many false teachings about who the bride is, some believe that she is a human being. Others do not, after listening here and there you are more and more confused. So you will not get anywhere, you must ask God in prayer, and if necessary you must do fasting and prayer to receive confirmation from God, and he will reveal to you what the truth is. God does not accuse anyone, the one who accuses the children of God is Satan himself and his servants. God gives us free will. And we are responsible for seeking the truth, because our salvation depends in knowing the truth, not a half-truth. Now the devil does make you feel bad, so that you follows him and his lies. We are in difficult times, the enemy of God is with everything, and has his children working against God's plan. He does not want you to know the truth, because if you know the complete truth he cannot continue to deceive you. But if you do a little spiritual warfare, and ask the Lord to remove all the doubts that you have, he is faithful, and just and will answer you. Perhaps the answer does not come right away, but you can be sure that if you persist and wait on him, the Lord will help you, because he is not the author of confusion, and he does not want you to be confused, he wants you to be free from the ties and confusions that only Lucifer and his sons lay over the sons of God. We are in a war and this war must be won for the no extermination of humankind. Satan has part of his offspring working against us, and he has deceived human beings for many years, and uses them to preach what is convenient for him. First, this subject kept it hidden and deceived millions and millions of ministers of the word of God, making them believe that the bride of Christ is the church as a whole, a group of believers. Do you realize what kind of sin is this? As Jesus says in Matthew 12 3 the sin against the Holy Spirit is the only sin that will not be forgiven neither in this life nor the one to come. Now that in recent times this truth is already coming to light. He has people tricked into believing that the bride is a flesh and blood mortal. Which cannot be at all since God cannot go against his own law. Read Leviticus 25. He wants you to believe a half-truth, because then your salvation would still be in danger. Of course, there are many women that he visits and tells them that he is Jesus because, as the scriptures say, he dresses as an angel of light and came to kill, steal and destroy. He is not satisfied with killing, nor with killing and stealing, but in the end he destroys everything, absolutely everything that he has in front of him. And he likes to do replicas of the Jesus the Christ, because this individual is very jealous, and he is all the time imitating everything that the heavenly family does or has. Satan has a queen of the air who is his wife and plays games with people, and he moves the pieces according to the beliefs of the person. The Holy Spirit the Bride of Christ is not the Queen of the Airs, or Queen of Heavens as she is known. The Queen of Heaven is a false queen, a mimic demonic entity, 
who usurped the throne situated in the second heaven, along with the red dragon. The true bride of Christ, the Holy Spirit doesn't need to call your attention with those titles. Hebrews 7.26 talks about Jesus our high priest is exalted above the heavens. In other words Jesus is in a heaven beyond other heavens, the third heaven is mentioned in 2 Corinthians 12.2, if the third heaven is God dwelling place, then we could consider the second heaven to be outer space the realm of the stars and planets, and the first heaven to be earth's atmosphere, the realm of the birds and clouds. The term heaven is used in scripture to refer to all three realms. Psalm 104.12 speaks of the birds of the heavens this would be the first heaven, the atmosphere of earth. In Isaiah 13.10 we find the stars of heaven, and their constellations a reference to the second heaven, outer space. And Revelation 11.19 describes the opening of God's temple in heaven, the third heaven, or God's dwelling place. The term second heaven about Satan's domain, and anything that comes from there. There are biblical descriptions of Satan being the ruler of the kingdom of the air, Ephesians 2.2, and demons are the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms, Ephesians 6, 12. You can read in your Bible the armor of God, Ephesians 6, 10 to 18, to find out how is Satan's army made up. Also, the Bible tells us how he goes to the third heaven and accuses us before the Father's throne. You must dress every day with the armor of God before you start praying. This garment is spiritual you cannot see, but Satan and his army can see it. The throne of Satan is in the second heaven. This throne will be recovered very soon by Christ and his bride. Many people have a false Holy Spirit or believe that the Holy Spirit is a female, but is not the true Holy Spirit. For example, some religion have instead of the Holy Spirit an entity called Kundalini, which is nothing more and nothing less than the serpent. Other pagan religions of Africa later spread to the entire American continent, especially Cuba, Brazil, they used to do rituals in where this demonic entity, that they call Mother God, dance in some pagan religions like Ubanda, Macumba, and Santeria. They have the queen of the air, they say she is the street woman, the prostitute, who is Satan's wife. Satan has at least seven wives of different ranks in these religions. This is how the darkest deceive you. With this entities, they do work to unite couples, marriages and also destroy marriages. They are situated inside churches to separate the people of God and pastors from his wives. And this is happening, because they are not attentive to the spiritual realm, they are not cunning like the serpent. The same as happens on an individual and personal level, while we listen to false teachings. What Satan has done throughout history is something terrible for humans. He dresses as an angel of light, to deceive and pretends to be God. That is why you should fast, pray and stay away from sin, unforgiveness, envy, jealousy, anger. These are sins of the flesh that must be eradicated from your life, and you must consult everything you listen with the God of creation. I cannot help you understand or interpret what the truth is. I only speak the truth, and you must seek confirmation. I advise you not to get stuck in a situation of insecurity because this will not help you. Do not give the devil room first in your mind and thoughts. Because it is precisely there where he begins to attack, and if you let him, in a couple of hours it passed to your heart, which is your soul and the emotions, and that is where he can take control of your life. In the name of Jesus, you must stand up with authority and reject those negative words in your mind. Because afterward, challenging times will come where you will need to have discernment. So as not to be deceived. This is something dire, 
and you should not let time pass without understanding the truth. How do we know all these things? Because God in his word tells us that he will show us great and hidden things that we still do not know. When, when we cry out to him. Jeremiah 33, 2-3. Thus says the Lord who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call to me, and I will answer you, and reveal great and inaccessible things to you, which you do not know, and this is precisely what we are doing, we are crying out to God for the truth, to be revealed to us. Know if you cry out to God of hosts, you will have an answer. To understand what is taught here, you must listen, if it is possible to all the videos. There are different beliefs around the bride, there are some who believe the bride is the Holy Spirit, but they do not believe that there is a mother from above. Others believe the bride is a mortal human being. We have noticed that this channel is the most attacked for talking about the bride. We have found many comments trying to distort the truth of the bride. They are evidently serving Satan. Since we do not comment or pursue other channels for not agreeing with our beliefs, we think that each one is free to choose what to believe. These servants of Satan and brides that are deceived subtly come to our channel saying offensive things and sowing doubts about what we are teaching, which is another matter. They are those of the serpent seed who confuse those who want to understand this issue. Thank God that he warns us and gives us the discernment to detect them right away. Now that the bride issue is coming to light, Satan is in a hurry to confuse you, and he is trying to create different doctrines around this topic. He did the same thing before, he is doing it again. His purpose is to keep us separate and confused. That is why we must depend on God alone and seek his confirmation of all things. The daughter and the son are the images of God, male and female. It is a perfect plan of salvation for humankind as Jesus and the Father are one. The mother and the daughter are one, and the four of them are also one. We have only one Savior, and there is only one God, because the deity is one. But we know they are family, and we know the four are involved in the plan of salvation for humankind. Each one of them has a role or ministry to accomplish. You should pray and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal this to you. Also, this is common sense. There must be a father and a mother to beget children, so on earth as it is in heaven. God the Father does not have a dysfunctional family. The devil wants us to believe that way, so he can destroy the model of a family created by God. To understand very well the difference between the mother, and the daughter I recommend listening to the videos, but in summary, I have received revelation directly from Jesus the Christ. He told me straightforward, God the Father has a wife. The mother was revealed first, and then the daughter. Likewise, me like many of us, have received in that same order, long before knowing these studies. The Holy Spirit intercedes for us in the heavenly sanctuary, Hebrew 9 11 10 12, Revelation 9 14. There is a woman in heaven, Revelation 12 1, and there is a woman on earth, Revelation 12 17. The other comforter intercedes for us here on earth. The wilderness where the daughter is at this moment is the earthly sanctuary. The book of Revelation also speaks of the heavenly sanctuary where Christ also intercedes for us. 1 John 5, 7 We firmly believe and teach about the four members of the Godhead, the Mother and the Father. The only begotten Son and the only begotten Daughter is what we firmly believe. Jesus has a Father and a Mother. Children do not come from a Father only, and they have a Son and a Daughter. Each of them has a different ministry. All four are involved in the plan of salvation for humankind. 
while the Son and the Mother intercede for us in the heavenly sanctuary, the Daughter intercede for us in the earthly sanctuary. The Daughter and the Son are the images of God. It is a perfect plan of salvation for humanity. With such suffering on the part of our heavenly family on our behalf. So if you can't understand this, I don't know what else to tell you. Since the person who understands it cannot stop loving them, just by knowing the great sacrifice they are making for us, that alone is enough to believe and be grateful. Remember Jesus the Christ loves you, and so do we. Thank you for listening. May God the branch he and she bless you abundantly with wisdom from above. Alpha and Omega Prayer Warriors